Ryan Stonson here with Accelerate Marketing, and today I'm gonna to give you a tip that's gonna save you hundreds and maybe thousands or even tens of thousands of dollars, and that is how to successfully dispute your calls, okay? There's a lot of controversy over disputing calls. What calls can be disputed? Should you dispute calls? Et cetera, et cetera. We listen to calls and we dispute calls for our clients, and that's very rare in the agency arena. Okay, I'll just tell you. So I own an agency, Accelerate Marketing, and you know one of the things that we do is we specialize in LSA or local service ads, and we do that because what it does is it allows us to get really good. Uh, at one thing. To be a jack of all trades and a master of none is the opposite of what we're trying to do. That's the reason why we really focus on LSA and by doing that, it's allowed us to really identify when Google accepts disputions and when they don't accept disputions and more importantly, if Google even wants you to dispute calls. A lot of people out there think that Google will actually give you fewer leads. The data suggests that it is okay to dispute calls. Now, if that changes, or if your account is different, we will identify that through the LSA or local service ad API connection that we have that allows us to see all the details of your account. So we can see if there is a correlation with the phone lead responsiveness number and the disputions, et cetera, and the number of leads that you're getting. So if you're not working with an agency that can tell you that information, I would highly suggest that you do because it can save you hundreds of thousands of dollars over the lifetime of your business, okay? Now, number one, what I'm gonna tell you is if you are disputing calls, what you wanna do, and a lot of attorneys don't do this, is they will set up a follow-up call or schedule a follow-up call. If Google sees that you're doing that, they are going to absolutely charge you for that call, okay? You're gonna be charged for that call if you schedule a follow-up, okay? you're not gonna be able to dispute it. And as far as we can tell, for attorneys especially, if you turn on the general query button, okay, that allows you to get leads for the general query search. In other words, if somebody just types in attorney near me or attorney Fort Lauderdale or attorney Ventura, California, they're gonna to go to the Google results and it's gonna allow them to go through and scroll through the type of attorney they're gonna look for, okay? but you're gonna be charged for all of those leads. If you do wanna get a higher lead volume, this is a bonus tip here, that you wanna turn on as many categories in your job type. So a job type, for example, would be personal injury, okay? Under personal injury, there's a lot of different categories like dog bites, car wreck cases, motorcycle cases, trucking cases, etc. The more of those categories that you take under the job type, the more likely it is that Google is going to show you for the query personal injury attorney near me, for example. And this applies to the service area businesses as well. And I'm going to create another video about this, but I want you guys to understand that, okay? So you want to take as many categories as you can and then understand that you will potentially have to pay for those leads that come in for the categories that you say that you wanna take jobs for, but you don't, but it will at least allow you to show up for the keyword that is more generic, which is like, for example, plumber near me or personal injury attorney near me. The more categories that you take, the more likely it is that you're gonna be able to actually show up for that particular query, which is more of a generic query. Okay, so if you want to get more leads, like I talked about in a video earlier, and you're getting towards that 60 to 90 day point where your phone lead responsiveness formula is going to reset and you're going to start getting leads again from LSA because you're answering the phone again now, then what I'd like to see my clients do is to turn on as many of those categories as you possibly can so that you can get as many leads as you possibly can. Just understand though that you're not gonna get a successful dispution for a category that you said that you're gonna take because you wanna get more phone calls. You're, you're, you're not gonna be able to dispute those, but you are going to be able to show up for that more generic search phrase that'll allow you to get the job type categories that you want. Okay, I hope that makes sense. And we can give you more clarification on this. It's very important you understand this. Now, you do want to turn down a job or a lead 
a phone call that you get right on the phone because Google's listening and Google will listen to those phone calls to identify if you actually turned the call down. If you turn the call down, Google's gonna allow you then to not have to pay for that lead. So I hope that makes sense. For example, attorneys as well, if you are referring cases out, you're gonna have to pay for those leads. If you don't wanna refer those cases out, then please don't either schedule a callback for them, just deny the call or, or turn down the opportunity to work with that lead, okay? That's what I would recommend that you do, okay? So I hope this makes sense. Again, you can feel free to dispute calls. Make sure that you turn them down on the phone if you actually do not take them. That will tell Google, send them a very clear message that you are not taking that phone call and you're gonna be able to successfully dispute those calls. You're not gonna be able to get any of the general query, if you have a turn on for attorneys, any of those searches, like if somebody types in attorney near me, and somebody calls up about a you know a job type that you don't take, most likely you're not gonna be able to successfully dispute that call. And then I also talked about um, some other things there about that I think will, will help you as well. So if you have any questions about this, again, 619-304-5155, 619-304-5155, you can text me. That's our company two-way text system. And I have access to that and my entire team does. It's our one of our softwares that we offer to help you guys as well if you want your team to be able to respond effectively to any type of messages. You know, we offer that. It's another service that we offer. So let me know what questions you have. Again, go and dispute those calls. Save yourself some money. We dispute calls for our clients, so you don't even have to worry about it, okay? That's what a good agency that is really entrenched in LSA is going to do for you is they're going to listen to those calls and they are going to successfully dispute those for you. And we, by the way, our distribution rate is going to be at least 10 to 20% higher than yours. Like an attorney or a good tax accountant would, they're going to save you the amount that they get you in a rebate. In this case, for successfully disputing your calls, we will save you the amount that you would pay us for our fees in the additional successful disputions that we would get for you versus what you would get for yourself. Just consider that, especially if you have a very high call volume, you don't want to deal with those disputions and you want somebody that can do it and do it right and coach your team on what to say on the calls in order to get more disputions approved so that we can save you more money and bring your overall cost per transaction or cost per new client down, okay? Our whole goal is to bring that cost per acquisition down to be as low as possible. And one of the ways to do that is to save more money. And the way to do that is to get more of these distributions approved, okay? And that's how we do it. And we do it really well because we dispute thousands of <laughs> phone calls on a weekly and a monthly basis for our clients. So we know what to do, what to say, how to dispute them, and how to coach our clients as well. So thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.